Planned nationwide strikes were supposed to start on Monday across Iran, based on social media posts that have been calling for business owners to roll down their shutters for three days. A quick stroll on the streets of Tehran, however, shows that all the fuss is limited to the virtual world. Life goes on as normal here in this district. I think social media exaggerates the problems. From what I saw today, no one is paying attention to the calls for a strike. The country has been gripped by street violence for 10 weeks now, with anti-government protests claiming the lives of civilians and security forces. Now the same protesters have called for a three-day strike, marking the anniversary of the National Student Day in the country. Student Day belongs to the Islamic Revolution and is a manifestation of the repression exercised by the former Pahlavi regime against our people. So it can't be used to protest against the Islamic establishment. I'm certain that all of the plots hatched to cause trouble to our country are doomed to failure. Videos circulating on social media show some shops in Tehran's Grand Bazaar closed. However, people say some shopkeepers have closed their shops in fear of vandalism by protesters. Everyone is busy with their businesses today. There are some shops which have been closed, but the majority of them fear possible damage by protesters. The Islamic Republic says what's happening on social media is not a true reflection of what's actually going on on the ground. Over the past days, Iranian officials have been calling for a national dialogue to, quote, stop the enemy from fishing in troubled waters. Yusuf Jalali, Prostive, Tehran.